Hi everybody, a very good evening to every all, to all of you and to one and all and today I am talking about an uh, important concept uh, in the context of the fact that I have uh, I have talked to you about the fact that you need to do chapters in multiple rounds, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds for some chapters. So the immediate question that comes is that do we need to do this for all the topics? The answer is no, you can actually be selective. But when I am saying selective, let's be very very clear about one thing. Uh, <coughs> Selective does not mean that you do not do some of the chapters because the problem with uh, selecting chapters key and not doing a chapter at all. So by, by selecting what I, what I mean here is that for some chapters you need to go deep into it, inside out, multiple rounds so that you are aware of the questions and you have done the questions three, four times of your question bank. But, <clears throat> but then other chapters you can, you can just do once or twice in in a cursory fashion, you don't need to go so deep into that. The problem with uh, with uh, not doing a chapter when you're talking about CAT is that uh, normally if you talk about a three-hour exam, you're essentially talking about a choice of out of 34 questions. And uh, normally uh, if you're trying to say, get a 90 odd percentile, 95, 97 percentile, you're trying to maybe attempt 22 out of 34. So you've got a choice of 12 questions which means that out of every three questions you do two and you do, you, you leave one. But the moment you say, okay, okay this chapter I'm not doing, for example, CAD 2018 when this happened, a lot of people did not do the log chapter and they gave four questions in the log chapter. So what happens is when you have that, I have not done the log chapter and there are four questions in the log chapter in the, question, in the exam, I'm then solving only out of 30 and if my target is still 22, I am suddenly in that, in a more pressured situation where I have to solve three out of four. So when I talk about important chapters and cons, uh, it's, it's with that rider that by important chapters I don't mean that you do only these chapters. You have to do all the chapters, you have to cover the portion. But yes, you can actually selectively choose which chapter do you go deep inside and which chapter do you just do a cursory glance, know the formulas, know the basic first 50 questions and so on. So in that context, if I look at, uh, look at the chapters in block 2-3, I think the deep deep dive chapters here are averages, percentages, ratio proportion, and time speed distance. These are the four deep dive cha chapters in this uh, in this uh, uh, area where you have to do your LOD ones, LOD twos. You have to do the previous year questions, and you also have to make sure that you know every question inside the mock test, etc. Whereas slightly shallow, shallow chapters, I'm not saying that they're shallow chapters per se, but slightly shallower than this, where you do not need that deep dive, are these four chapters. So in these four chapters, you can actually uh, just do the question bank once and maybe revise it once a uh, uh, second time. Uh, you, can, you can take the approach, jo questions nahi solve hua, usko tum uh, dekh lo, or kind of yaad kar lo questions ko. Uh, remember, I have told you one more preparation process, I have also told you one more thing that when you go through the important chapters, you will see so many questions and you will be able to do only these many questions. The questions which you are not able to do, those questions you have to come back to and solve a second time and a third time and a fourth time. So in the deep dive chapters, you don't compromise this process. But in the slightly shallower chapters, you can compromise this process. You can say, okay, round two, I'll come back and I'll see this. Jitna hua, utna kar lunga. Jo nahi hua, uska solutions pad lunga round two. Mein. Whereas in the deep dive chapters, you'll keep these questions also for round three and round four. So this is uh, as far as uh, block two goes, block two, three goes. Block one, where both these chapters are deep dive because you will see a lot of questions on this. Uh, you, you have around seven, eight questions normally from block one and uh, four questions from a chapter will obviously make, make the chapter important. All the number systems is, as you know, a very, very deep chapter. Uh, block four, where the deep dive chapter is geometry. So that makes it six, uh, eight now, four chapters in the first uh, block two, three. If I go back to this, there are four chapters for deep dive here. Allegations is just a method of, to solve weighted average questions. So you, you just need to know that method and how it applies. Uh, interest, profit loss and time and work, they're not very deep chapters. You, you just go through the LOD one and two once. You should be ready for any, you can, you can check the past year CAT papers. If you have done the LOD one, two uh, of, of these chapters once, you should be able to solve most of the questions uh, of the past years. So four chapters here, two chapters here, that makes it six. Two more chapters here. Uh, coordinate geometry, you just have to do in a very shallow fashion. You should just know the, uh, the, uh, 
the chapter theory and the formulas and that's it don't do don't don't get into that uh, as if your life depends on it uh, coordinate geometry by sab direct questions aate nahi hai just apply application of coordinate geometry and that to very basic application of coordinate geometry may, may come in one or two questions and then in in this block you got these two as the deep dive chapters functions and equations and logs you have to do it's important these days but but you don't need to go to a very deep level of problem solving in logs because if you look at all the questions that have come they are normally two step three step questions you should just know what should be i mean looking at the question you should be able to identify what the uh, what the basic uh, immediate initial reaction should be and inequalities will more or less get covered if you do do these two chapters well so inequality is also not a very deep dive chapter so that makes it 10 10 chapters and then in block 6 mein i think uh, uh, you have a choice you permutation combination is a good chapter to study it's an interesting chapter to study also uh, cat mein sometimes you'll get two or three questions but other times you get zero also so even if you just do a shallow uh, dip into permutation combination probability almost somebody had commented on one of my previous videos also probability uh, you'll be surprised to know has never come in the cat in the last 10 odd years so you can actually uh, just do a very shallow dive you want to i, I don't want you to uh, have the uh, risk of not having done it at all so one one shallow uh, movement by shallow movement i mean 5 7 10 hours you spend on it in your preparation that's it other chapters are going deep deep dive you might have to end up spending 30 hours on those set theory you have to do a deep deep dive so this is uh, optional set theory you should do a deep dive not so much for the quants part but for the uh, data interpretation and logical reasoning part so that's your important uh, topics do consider mindworks for uh, all these courses and we are soon coming up with the upsc csat course also a lot of people have been asking me and the crack every interview program it's starting on 23rd may the next batch of it and uh, uh, uh i am there randeer mishra is there uh, manish konkar is there both of them have been uh, i am interviewers for for a long time so uh, they'll help you uh, with your uh, interview prep planning and and we are talking about interview preparation in the longer term zone rather than last minute interview preparation i'll come up with a separate video on that and uh, there's a workshop on thursday 8 to 9 where we are talking about resume building a resume and Uh, preparing for interviews so do come that that's a free webinar so do do register for that the link will be provided in the description thank you so much bye bye